Hello and welcome back and that's right it's time for the best two bay nas of the year. Those of you that have followed this channel for a while know that this goes down a certain number of ways. In this video I'm going to talk about right now the very best two bay that's two hard drive or two SSD NAS systems that you can buy as of 2022 and 2023 for this video. It's really hard to say the end of the year this video should be going out in December if I'm recording this right right the tail end of November and in this video whether you're watching this now at the end of 2022 or you're about halfway through 2023 all of these right now, based on all the information I know, based on all of my reviews, based on all prospective uh, two-bay releases coming in the future, are the best two-bay NASes that you can buy. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about five NASes, but really I'm going to talk about four and one honourable mention that I'll talk about in a moment. But before we go any further, maybe you are buying this two-bay NAS because it's your first time making the jump away from Google Drive and Dropbox and stuff like that, and you're slightly concerned about what any NAS can give you so I want to rest assured, let you know right now that all of the devices that I'm going to talk about here will support the following one they'll have RAID support so you can put one or two drives inside and you've got your safety net there you'll have things like snapshots built in that do time managed um, kind of image um, kind of uh, blueprint of your storage that you can roll back on internally um, shared drive via the network or remotely via the internet there's a surveillance app inside the support of virtual machines will be in all of these NASes here support of flex media server they've all got their own photo audio and video applications on the first party there support of containers there's support there of third party programs as well you can install a lot of those container ones or third party apps in their individual stores they all support uh, mac windows and linux environments there's also a bevy of different mobile applications available for all of the nas brands we're talking about today on ios and android is windows app center for mobile still a thing who knows uh, but that's really it all of these devices here are great and i would argue the best examples of two bays from all of the brands i talk about here on the channel but before we go any further i mentioned it earlier on the honorable mention because there is one nas that I would have liked to add to this list, but I simply can't. A lot of um, uh, the two bases I'll talk about here are picked because of two things, power and value. They're flexible in their own way, but those two main things kind of stand out more than anything else. Now, when it comes to the honorable mention, that is the DS723 Plus from Synology. They're 2022 and 2023 generation device there. Now, this two bay is uh, Ryzen powered. Uh, it's a dual core four thread processor there. It's got uh, two gig of memory inside that can be scaled up to six, uh, 32 if needed of DDR4 ECC memory. And it's got optional 10 GPU on the rear. So on the face of it, there's lots of reasons why it should be on this list. However, it's still not been released. We know about it. We've seen it at a bunch of events. We know the specifications. It's been heavily publicized on a lot of different websites, including my own. But at the same time, it's not around. So I can't recommend it. I've never used it. I still don't know if the 2-bay into 10GBE saturation point is good enough. And unfortunately, it just didn't make the cut. So it's on here as an honorable mention, but not a winner. But for now, let's crack on with our first legitimate winner of our best 2-bay NASs of the year. The best all-round 2-bay. Now, that's kind of an ambiguous term. I don't mean that this 2-bay NAS can do everything. What I'm saying is, it is the best middle ground, if you want a 2-bay NAS, that it gives you access to everything whether it is to the highest degree or to an acceptable standard consumer or prosumer level and this entry goes to the QNAP TS253E it arrived in late summer 2022 and this two bay is pretty darn impressive and the way it's been scaled internally and again we've got the four bay version up here something we reviewed in detail but when I played with the two bay the first things that occur to you when you're using it is it's a nice, solid, mature 2-bay. It's not as scalable as, say, uh, the TS-264, but at the same time, it is a great 2-bay release from QNAP. So the CPU inside, despite this appearing within their portfolio as a more affordable entry, um, it arrives with a quad-core new generation seller on the J6412, a quad-core 2.0 to 2.6 gigahertz CPU, and it also arrives a standard with 8 gig of memory, and it's DDR4 memory, which can't be upgraded 
which is annoying, but at the same time, eight gig of memory on a two bay and a quad core Intel embedded graphics processor there. There's a lot you can do with that from virtualization to surveillance to 4 complex media server and more. But on top of that, it arrives with two gig, uh, 2.5 GBE ethernet, two ports on the rear. So again, uh, 250 to 279 megabytes per second each, or you can combine them together or add 2.5G and 5G adapters as well. So again, you can scale up that scalability tremendously. And then on top of that, the KVM support keyboard video and mouse is enhanced on this as well, with not only it having that 4K HDMI port, but on top of that, the USB ports on this device being USB 3.2 Gen 2. So 10 gigabits per second USB ports there. It is a tremendously um, kind of powerful but compact two bay there. and. Although it lacks the PCI upgrade of the TS-264, a NAS that didn't quite make this list because I felt the 253E was a more all-round device, it does have two M2 NVMe slots inside that support PCIe Gen 3 times 2 SSDs. And those SSDs can be used for caching, they can be used for raw storage pools, or they can be utilized with Q-tier. And combining them with a large storage array for the system to automatically move, not copy, move your data based on its priority scale and how you set up the um, the architecture of the storage internally during setup and moves data to the more appropriate storage tier. With eight gig of memory, quad core Celeron, 2.5 GPU, KVM with the 10 gig USB, and M2 NVMEs with tremendous flexibility and this device supporting and being tested with, at least in the case of the 4 bay, with 22 TB drives and working like a charm, it's my best all round two bay NAS of the year and definitely my pick of the list there. If you're trying to get a two bay NAS to give you a little bit of everything on day one. Now this next one's gonna cause a little bit of contention there, but the best software two bay NAS of the year for me, and again, 2022 to 2023, if we're not gonna include the DS723 Plus because it's not being released yet, we have gotta talk about the DS720. Yes, this NAS came out two and a half years ago. But despite the hardware on the DS720 looking a little bit old hat at the moment, and I know that's a bit harsh, it should be said that DSM, DSM 7.1 and 7.2 arriving any moment now is for this device has been regularly updated and still maintained as the best NAS software right now in terms of usability features, and just general investment and experience when you're buying a product. When you buy a Synology product, you're buying it more for the software than the hardware. That's no secret. And in the case of the DS720 Plus, when it arrived on the scene, it was you know, pretty good. It kind of matched everyone else, although there were certain features such as the Ethernet connections, which were a little lacklustre. But even now, in 2022 going into 2023, this device does still cut the mustard a number of ways. The DS720 still has a quad-core integrated graphics Celeron inside there, the uh, J4125, a, a 2.0 to 2.7 gigahertz processor there. On top of that, it also has two gig of DDR4 memory that can be scaled up to six gig. I know, weird number. It does have two M2 NVMe slots on the base, although they are only usable for caching. And even though in recent weeks we've seen Synology soften their position on the subject of um, M2 NVMEs as storage pools, that is not a feature that I think is ever going to come to the 720. So don't buy this thinking those M2 slots are going to be caching, uh, uh, beyond caching, unless you want to go down the unofficial modded route there via SSH or using like a GitHub mod. A mod. It can be scaled up with an additional five bays of storage with the DX517. And again, it may seem two and a half years ago, me recommending a NAS from that time period now, a little bit weird, but it's still a solid NAS and it still runs Synology software. The reason it made this category beautifully well. And as a two bay NAS from Synology, until the DS723 arrives and we can properly compare it against this model, this is still the two bay to beat from Synology right now. and still the best NAS software two bay of the year I could recommend. We talked about software, now we're going to talk about hardware. And when it comes to the best hardware two bay NAS release of 2022 going into 2023, it is this the Acer Store Locker Store 2 Gen 
2. This 2 bay NAS, in terms of what you are paying and what you get for hardware, it's pretty crazy town banana pants. Let me put it into perspective. Originally, a number of you, when I talked to different users about this video and talked about a lot of my best of the years, a number of you were keen for me to talk about the QNAP 2 bay, that TS264 that I mentioned earlier on, which has like a 10G upgrade slot and it's got a lot of the hardware inside. Now, if we're just talking hardware right now, this absolutely wins. It doesn't have the option to add a, a, a PCIe upgrade card, but it makes up for it in a specific other way. Now, the device itself has great hardware already in of itself. The Locker Store 2 Gen 2, we'll talk about Gen 2 in a moment, has got uh, Intel Celeron inside again, quad-core N5105, a 2.0 to 2.9 gigahertz processor. Also has four gig of DDR4 memory that can be scaled up to 16 gig very, very easily indeed. It's got USB 3.2 Gen 2, so you've got your 10 gigabits per second USB ports. It's got there in the corner, the 2.5 gigabit ethernet ports there, so you've got your larger network connectivity there. You can add, 2.5G and uh, 5G um, to USB adapters to this to even further scale up uh, your network connectivity. But once again, when we do talk about 10GBE on these things, bear in mind we're still talking on any of these NASes about two SATA bays of storage. But then we get the real standout thing for this device. It has four M2 NVMe slots inside there. You can install four super fast PCIe Gen 3 SSDs inside there. Now, it is PCIe Gen 3 times 1 or Gen 2, depending on which locker store in the series you go for. But what I will say is that that device there, with those PCIe slots inside, you have got effectively a 6-bay NAS. You can use those M2s for caching or for storage. So, again, as a two bay that's scalable into a six bay, as a, as a two bay NAS that arrives with 2.5 GBE ports, two of them, and the option to scale significantly more. Having KVM with an HDMI 2.0B, they're the only NAS brand in the market right now that provides that um, HDMI 2.0B, which has enhanced SDR and HDR uh, bandwidth share on the output. And it's a metal chassis, it's more classically industrially designed, I know there are a lot of hardware buyers that are gonna be really bold over with this. It lacks the uh, LCD panel of the four and the six bay, and the four and the six bay do have a 10 GPE upgrade slot. But as a, t a two bay NAS, in terms of hardware, this is by far the best you're gonna get in the two bay market right now. And finally, the best value to Bay NAS. And for me, and it probably won't surprise many of you, it's going to be the Terra Master. It's going to be the F2423. Now, earlier on, I mentioned about the hardware inside that Acer store and indeed inside the QNAP there at the top of the video. But what I will say right now is all of those NASs that I've discussed there will be somewhere between 100 to 200 pounds more than this regularly. This NAS is regularly on offer. TerraMaster has a tendency to really get in to a lot of the seasonal sales, but also TerraMaster runs quite a lot of promotions through Amazon. And if you were going to go to Amazon anyway, you won't be surprised to hear that when it comes to buying the best value two bay NAS that provides almost everything in terms of hardware we've talked about from all the other brands, you just can't beat this device. Now, what is it that makes this stand out? One, the CPU, it is the N5105. Sound familiar? It's the one that was inside the Acer store and inside that QNAP right there, a quad-core integrated graphics seller on 2.0 to 2.9 gigahertz. It also has four gig of DDR4 memory. That DDR4 memory, of course, can be scaled up, but it can be scaled up, according to TerraMaster, to 32 gig. Now, again, that CPU is rated at 16 gig, so I've always had qualms about that, but there's still no avoiding that they have put it across their pages, they they say they can back it up with testing. I've not got around to doing it, and I will be doing it with this device, but they state this goes up to 32 gig of memory on a two bay with a quad core integrated graphics Celeron. Yum, yum, get in my tum. Now, on top of that, the system, of course, has 2.5 gigabit ethernet there on the rear. So again, um, 250 to 279 megs per second each, and you can lag them together for 550 if you choose. On top of that, there is support of USB to 2.5 and 5G dongles, 
and you've got USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports there. So again, 10 gigabits per second USBs. The HDMI, unfortunately, is really only for debug. If you were going to put true NAS on this, something we've done in previous videos, you will use that. But for the most part, the HDMI port on this is largely redundant. KVM within the Terramaster system with TOS isn't really a thing. Now, the design doesn't win everyone over, I grant you, and it's a combination of metal and plastic. But it is getting better, and they have improved that chassis over time. The other thing this device has is M2 NVMe slots. That's right. Much like um, a lot of the other NAS we talked about, you can install two M2 NVMe's inside this at PCI Gen 3 times 2 So this 2-bay becomes a 4-bay, because those drives can be used as individual storage pools, and they can be used as caching. You can even boot the Terra Master from those, which is really impressive. A recent update to TOS 5. TOS 5, of course, the latest iteration of their software, even though they are still classed as the budget, the affordable, the value brand in the world of NAS, I will say that this device, again, in TOS 5, they've added surveillance support, they've added AI photo recognition tools in there, they've added um, much uh, broader backup tools inside there, the response time within the GUI is improved, and although the upgrade path from TOS 4 to TOS 5 for older devices is not as smooth as I would like, there's no avoiding when it comes to the best value two bay NAS out there, it's this. Yes, you can find cheaper two bay NASs out there with real tech or other ARM based processors inside there or cutting down on other resources. But then when you work out the price that you're paying versus the hardware you're getting, and then you look at this, this is by far the best value. And the F2423 right now is the score to beat when it comes to the value two bay of 2022 going into 2023. But this has been my best two bay NASs of the year, of my recommended two bay NASs, or whatever you want to call this video. Who knows, I might change it by the end. Let me know in the comments. But apart from that, thank you so much for watching. There'll be a full written breakdown of my decision process and links to all of the reviews and the testing we did on this in the description over on NAS Compares and here on YouTube. If you want to learn more, we've got another seven of these videos covering different categories coming up over the course of the next month. And again, articles to combine them all. And if we've got time before the end of December, the cutoff I hope for this, then what we'll do is we'll add any others on, any other categories that you guys really want to see. Again, if you need help choosing your right now, and this guide isn't quite helping you out enough, use the free advice section over on NAS Compares or head into the other corner to get hold of the free community support forum, Ask NAS Compares, where me, Eddie the web guy, who I'll be honest, does a lot more work on that than me, and other NAS community members, will help you with your questions. And lastly, click like if you enjoyed this, subscribe to learn more. And finally, if you were gonna buy any of the products from today from Amazon, and if you were, this video has actually helped you, make sure those two things are true, because if they are, use the links in the description. It doesn't cost you any extra, it takes you straight to Amazon, and anything you buy from there results in a kickback coming back to NAS Compares, so me and Eddie can keep doing what we do. But apart from that, if I don't speak to you, have a lovely Christmas. I hope you have a wonderful time, and I will see you next time.